Thank you for staying with us and welcome back. The National Assembly has rebuked the Attorney General of the Federation and asked the Inspector General of Police to seal off the Kogi State House of Assembly over the leadership crisis which is rocking the legislature. The National Assembly intervened and last week nullified all past decisions and activities of the Kogi State House of Assembly, saying the governor should now approach the National Assembly for any legislative issues he wants to undertake. But today, the governor, in a dramatic form, Mr. Yaya Bill, has signed the budget into law, a clear departure from the orders of the National Assembly. And here are some of the things that he said at the signing of the Kogi State 2016 budget. I'm happy that Kogi State House of Assembly, working harmoniously with the state government, have passed the budget of 2016 into law. And today we are signing it. This budget is a budget of change. We intend, by the grace of God, to be guided strictly by the provisions as contained in the budget. Uh, even though we have a lot of economic and financial challenges. But we are hoping and that by the grace of God, in addition to what comes from Federation accounts, we are going to boost our internal generator revenue, not just by 100%, but far and above that. To that effect, we granted the State Board of Internal Revenue autonomy. And we granted them the autonomy and we gave them targets based on the budget we are signing into law today. That's the governor of Kogi State, Mr. Yaya Bello. Well, there are two school of thoughts. Well, one says that, look, uh, there is a case in court by, instituted by some lawmakers in the Kogi State as of Assembly, some of them who are loyal to the Honorable Imam faction. Well, some of those who are loyal to the Honorable um, Jimo faction are those whom uh, the, uh, the National Assembly intervention has favored meaning that the on-pass continues. But again, when we look at the fact that the second school of thought is the fact that the National Assembly has intervened, sealing off uh, the National Assembly, uh, the Kogi State House of Assembly complex was a decision, but again, does it go down well? Is there a House of Assembly in Kogi State as we speak? Let's take a look at the legal and political dynamics of the Kogi Assembly on pass. Let me quickly uh, go to uh, our guest in Wari, Mr. Akbadaya, a senior advocate of Nigeria. With what we have on our hands now in terms of uh, the intervention of the National Assembly, and you just heard the governor say the Assembly in Kogi State has passed the budget. That was last week. You remember last week they said there is no, the National Assembly said there is no National uh, Kogi Assembly. Where do we go from here, Mr. Akpada? So what is happening in uh, Kogi? Uh, this my imagination. I, I keep wondering where this will end. Uh, if you remember, we were at the show about um, three weeks ago where we spoke about what has happened and the intervention of the Kogi Assembly matters by the National Assembly. I, one would have thought that that would have put paid to these issues. And going forward, we really will not be having what I see today as a major aberration in the scheme of things. Uh, uh, if you recall, we have a class of personal powers as enshrined in our constitution, the executive, the legislature, and uh, the judiciary. Um, as it is, uh, only the uh, legislature can make laws for the executive to sign into law. Uh, so I begin to wonder who actually made part of this project for the governor to sign. Uh, it's a major aberration. It, it sounds completely illegal as the facts have presented, because if the National Assembly has taken over the lawmaking process of the Kogi Assembly, then it behoves to think that only the National Assembly can at least appropriate funds for Kogi. And so anything done outside this purview, in my view, will be untoward and uh, clear against the letters of our constitution and will be of no moment. But could the National Assembly has, uh, have considered or taken uh, cognizance of the fact that there is a case in court over this decision before they took over. Isn't that another perspective, Turi? Well, uh, the case in court is still subjudiced. It's not de been decided. And uh, nature above the vacuum, the current position is that the first of the Kogi Assembly have been governed at as it were now from the National Assembly. And because nature prescribes that you don't have a vacuum, that's why there's a continuum by the National Assembly to actually legislate on matters as affect Kogi Assembly. But I think the powers in Kogi that be would think otherwise. And it's it, it, it been interesting to see how this plays out. 
Okay, let's get a political angle to it. Uh, <laughs> that's a legal uh, angle, which sometimes yeah. does not favor the political uh, uh, players. Yeah. But, but from your point of view, uh, you there is a, a clear case of a possible clash that is looming, isn't it? Mm, yeah, yeah. It, it is apparent. It is glaring that that clash is on and is going to aggravate any moment soon. But I haven't said that. Let me remind you that I respect lawyers. Uh, the law is rigid, is sacred, but law is an instrument in the hand of politics. I keep saying this. Politics can manipulate law 100 times over. Isn't the law supposed to be supreme? Well, ideally. Politics yes. should be the activities of the players. Ideally. But legal yes. should be, I mean, the legal part of it should be able to guide ideally, the existence ideally, of, of, yes, of our being. Ideally, yes. But even every law you make, every policy you make, is a product of politics. People must have gone into politicking before they make laws. They must have gone into politics before they make policies. Now, that's been settled. The Kogi State House of Assembly is giving us a drama that is going to improve our democracy and its understanding once the court decides. You must not lose track of the fact that there is a case in court. Okay, and once there is a case in court, I'm not a lawyer, but I know that the usual thing is that the status quo remains. What well, would be the status quo now? Perhaps. The, the, that the National Assembly, where the crisis of saying, oh, they're uh, possible saying that they've not been able to sit, and that's where the National Assembly is coming in. But there is a case in court to challenge that. So maybe the governor is not saying that. Now there's a case challenging that. I remain the status quo. Let me sign what you have into budget. In any event, there is a case in court. The court is going to make categorical pronouncement upon this. And that's why I'm saying that our democracy is undergoing a test, and only the court will give us declaration. Hmm. Isn't is that a, a call for uh, a, a somewhat an, of an, an administrative case? disaster? No, well, I mean, democracy everywhere in the world is a product of experimentation. It is not rigid, it's not sacrosanct. People need to experiment, test issues, go to court, you know, before they actually get things right. What would you suggest as a solution in this matter? There is a stalemate, clearly. Yeah, clearly there is a stalemate. Political solution is the way out of it, not legal solution. <laughs> let me, let, the let, stakeholders let, who only <laughs> agree to come together and resolve their differences in the interest and perhaps of withdraw the case from court. Perhaps oh. in the interest of Kogi State. Let's ask uh, Mr. Akpede uh, uh, the solution that you will think <laughs> could be played out here. Uh, a political solution uh, usually comes to play, but legally, what is the possibility of getting out of this stalemate for the people of Kogi State? Well, for the people of Kogi State, apparently a political solution will be best for them. If the political gladiators can get their act together and agree on the way to go forward. But the problem with political solutions is that only the trade off. They never get to the meat and the bottom of the matter. Mm. If the politicians can't decide it, I, I'm sorry, my friend, doctor, the courts will have to decide it. And when the court decides it, it'll be final. And that's where politics becomes. Mr. Akbada, many times, uh, it's it sometimes <laughs> very strange when you find politicians or political uh, scientists yeah. and lawyers are green. Yeah. But I mean, political solution, political yeah. solution Legal from Mr. Akbada. Yeah. Many yeah. thanks, Mr. Akbada. Thank you so much. Dr. Sure. Right. Always a pleasure hosting Thank you so on the program. Much. Many thanks for being uh, such a great company. On behalf of the team here at the Channel Salvation Global Headquarters in Lagos, I'm Sean Wakimale. Bye for now.